So let's solve a problem. Now this is a trivial basic problem just to see uh, how well you know the mechanism and this D is uh, isotope of H fine so what happens is you have to remember that first H plus attacks that H plus attacks and get attached to outer carbon if you know the mechanism carbocation is formed on internal carbon and then H2O or D2O whatever part is there that would come and get attached on this carbon so in this case it is pretty simple we have seen in the last case H plus will get attached to the outer carbon OH will get attached to an internal carbon and this will be the alcohol that we would get in the second case we have H plus so H plus will come and initiate the reaction and we will have a carbocation formation RDS would be complete like this in the second step where H2O comes this time D2O will come and D2O will get attached so here we will have instead of OH OD in this case we don't have H plus we have D plus so D plus will come and initiate the reaction D will get attached to a outer carbon like this and OH will come and get attached to an internal carbon because we have H2O in the last case we have D plus and D2O so D will come and initiate the reaction will get attached to an outer carbon and OD will get attached to an internal carbon like this this will be the uh, corresponding products simple easy now suppose I have this substrate and I want to carry out dehydration hydration reaction on this so get your product quickly before we go for further discussion give your product what do you think as would be the major product step number one would be RDS H plus would come will get attached to a carbon in such a manner that the carbocation formed is the most stable possible of the two carbon now this is the position where initially carbocation would be formed and the second step the second step water comes and a form a bond with this oxygen forms a bond with this uh, C plus but oxygen won't come here as we can see there's a possibility of rearrangement because this is a two degree carbon if we do a one two hydride shift if we do one two hydride shift this hydrogen will come here and a carbocation will be formed on a three degree carbon much more stable than the previous one so there would be rearrangement and now water will come and form a bond and there will be removal of H plus and finally our OH group will get attached to this carbon so we have a three degree alcohol as I told you if there's a possibility of rearrangement there will be rearrangement so we also always have to be keen keenly looking for for a possibility of rearrangement now in this case what happens is we, uh, we, we have OH group attached to a carbon that was not forming the pi bond initially the oxygen OH group get attached to this carbon that was not participating in formation of alkene because of rearrangement but suppose I want OH group to be attached on this carbon I don't want the effect of rearrangement and I don't want the OH group to be attached to any other carbon if I want OH group to be attached on this carbon or similarly I can want OH group to be attached on this carbon then there will be different reactions that will facilitate such kind of addition now obviously as you can sense if OH group is attached getting attached to this carbon then obviously there is no formation of pure carbocation because if at all there is a formation of pure carbocation there will always be rearrangement so somehow what we would do is they will form a complex on this carbon and then there will be substitution on that complex so that we would bypass the formation of carbocation 
so we can also bypass the formation rearrangement of that carbocation so those two reactions subsequently we will see in the next uh, reaction um, but before that what i told you hydration and dehydration are not exact reverse of each other now to substantiate my point let me sub let me show you one reaction suppose this is the alcohol and i carry out dehydration reaction i give h plus delta it gives me a propene there is no possibility of any other product it has to be propene we don't say it one propene because there cannot be any two propene it is just propene ah uh, find this is hydration this is dehydration now if we carry out hydration now i would not get back this alcohol for the reason you have seen in the mechanism if we at all carry out hydration on propene it will always and always give me two propenol because there is a formation of carbocation carbocation will be formed on a most uh, on a internal carbon and that's where oh group will come and get attached so this is not a reverse of each other because that is not giving me back the alcohol is kind of reverse in some cases it will give you back alcohol in many cases in most of the cases you will not get back the same alcohol on which you did dehydration by carrying out hydration so it's kind of reverse it's not exactly reverse fine so suppose i say that differentiation is a reverse of integration or integration is a reverse of the differentiation and so is hydration and dehydration suppose i say you differentiation is to integration or uh, to better put it integration is to differentiation if you integrate a function and you differentiate it back that is same as that is similar to dehydration is to hydration if you dehydrate alcohol and then you hydrate it back that is similar to if you integrate a function and you differentiate it back this will be a false statement fine because if you integrate a function and if you differentiate it always you will get back the same function but if you dehydrate alcohol and again you hydrate the alkene produced you will not always get back the same alcohol this is uh, just a little bit of fun so we have completed hydration reaction now we'll see another kind of uh, addition effectively addition of water where there will be no rearrangement